again tonight we're talking all about injuries if you oh we do have another call on the line let's see if we can get ricky in ricky from jackson is holding welcome ricky and what's your question this evening okay uh, a few months back i was injured in a uh, 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 grocery store and i sustained a head injury and i called the paramedics out to uh, have me uh, looked at <clears throat> they wanted to to take to the hospital, but told them I think I'm good enough to drive home. Uh, I'll take, i get up and take myself to the hospital. My question is, uh, did I make a mistake by not allowing the uh, paramedics to give me a ride to the hospital in the ambulance? Great question. Not, not yeah, that's a great question, Ricky. Not necessarily. Uh, let me tell you, we're, we're all Mississippians, and, and I'm sorry to hear that you were hurt. And it sounds like you were seriously hurt, but one of the things I've noticed that we like to do here is try to tough things out, and we try to say we're okay, and we say we don't need an ambulance. We think we'll get better right you know, at the scene or right after a, a wreck or a fall, and then a few days later, it's not okay, and it gets worse and it gets worse. You need to go to the doctor. You need to get your treatment as soon as possible. Um, I've had a lot of cases where people didn't initially go to the doctor right after the wreck from, uh, from the scene by ambulance. It doesn't mean you can't recover. Here's what it means. The defense lawyer, if you file a lawsuit, is going to argue that you weren't hurt bad enough, uh, badly enough to go immediately and they're going to try to undercut your damages. It's not something that we can't deal with, but that's what's going to happen. Uh, and I hope that you uh, are feeling better, Ricky. It sounds like you had a very serious injury and I'm sorry to hear that.